It's a bull. <clears throat> Good morning. Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. And for those of you that are familiar with this, I'm putting on the uh, Coral City live cam down in the port of Miami. This is a live cam. Pretty cool, and uh, it's on YouTube all the time. I like it just as much almost as the uh, other cam. A uh, little bit different, though. Coral and a bunch of sergeant majors. However, we're not here to discuss fish. We're here to discuss gold and silver and precious metals markets. Uh, sometimes I'd rather discuss fish, but not today. So, <laughs> uh, And uh, let's take a look here, and I'm just going to do a quick refresh here. I didn't do it yet this morning. Um, <clears throat> 1748, uh, we're holding on to those mid-17 ranges even after the major freaking monkey hammering we had last Sunday night. Uh, we'll get into that to a moment. Oh, I'd also like to say I'm going to talk about, uh, you know how I'm, uh, I'm always speaking about never trust corporate media? Well, I have found a classic when it comes to precious metals especially. Uh, uh, you'll go broke if you listen to them. I have found the classic article uh, uh, written by uh, Yahoo and <laughs> appropriate name uh, for corporate media, but... Uh, and uh, uh, wow, wow, and their source of an expert is a classic example of what I've been saying for, for a year plus on these uh, videos that I'm doing. Uh, never listen to corporate media and, and the people they hire as experts for precious metals. Well, I'll show you that in a little bit. I'll get into that in just a bit here. Uh, meanwhile, let's just look at the overnight markets, low 1742. Uh, high is 1758. Uh, again, kind of sitting about 10 bucks lower than the high. I'm not sure what time that high was at 1758. Uh, probably, uh, uh, probably last night. Yeah, probably uh, the close of or the opening last night uh, at world markets. Uh, but 1748 currently. Silver's looks like uh, what kind of range is that? Mm, 2306. It looks like they're trying to bang below that 23 level a little bit. And uh, the high at 2357. We're currently sitting in between there at 2324. Um, I'm really surprised that the uh, 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 silver did not recover as much as gold, it seems like here. Uh, and uh, I don't think really uh, silver was the uh, primary recipient of the monkey hammering last Sunday that went on, uh, but no less. Uh, look at platinum. It's kind of busted above that $1,000 range uh, again. Platinum seemed to have telegraphed uh, uh, gold and silver's move last week uh, from what it looked like, if you go back and take a look, and uh, telegraphed its move it back upward again as well. Um, maybe a tell, maybe not. Tough to say. As I've always said, that platinum and palladium market is primarily controlled by the uh, uh, by the uh, cartel, the mobsters, <laughs> uh, the the white metal mobsters, which would be uh, Canada, uh, Russia, and South Africa. Uh, it's a cartel that they really do control the price of uh, uh, platinum and, and palladium pretty much. They talk about fixed markets. Uh, no less, we don't do as much in platinum and palladium, so we don't talk about it much, and we're not going to go there today. I'm sure they have their monkey hammering, too, as well. Um, <clears throat> and what are we, where are we going here? Where are we going from here? Um, all metals, hey, these are all great prices. As I said, you know, I, I've said it so many times, it's like I feel like a broken record here, but, you know, anything, you, one day you're going to look at, two. I, don't, I know it's 1700 right now, but one day you're going to look at $2,000 gold, and you're going to look at $35 plus silver, maybe $50 silver, tough to say, um, but I believe it's going to go much higher, uh, and you're going to look at uh, platinum at these levels, you're going to say, my gosh, I remember that, just like, you know, when you remember that silver was $12, and you remember silver being $5, and you go back as far as I do, you can remember silver being like a buck fifty or something like that uh, when I was really young, uh, but uh, you're going to say the same thing about gold prices at these levels, silver at these levels, and platinum at these levels. So, you know, as long as you're not paying a ridiculous premium, uh, and I talk about premiums at the uh, end of this video, uh, what you should be paying, what you shouldn't be paying, as long as you're not paying ridiculous premiums, you know what, I keep saying buy the dips, but it's hard to time these dips, and this actually was a good, this is a great buying dip, actually, right here. Uh, but, uh, uh, you know, and any prices below those levels are cheap if you're in it for medium long term wealth preservation. If you're in the gold and silver market to get rich quick, then I suggest uh, uh, you don't do it. <laughs> Um, and again, that doesn't mean that gold and silver couldn't rocket higher uh, uh, tomorrow or next month. Or uh, what I'm saying is, is though you, you, we're, we're, you don't buy gold and silver really as uh, uh, if you want to buy gold and silver as 
you know, get rich quick scheme, then I, there's a lot of guys out there who'll show you how to uh, do day trading. So you'll either make a lot of money, you'll be sideways, or you'll lose your head, one or the other. Uh, most people that day trade are very experienced at what they do. And, uh, even, you know, I, I don't know how well they do it as well. And they're de dealing in paper derivatives and stuff. If you're buying gold and silver and platinum uh, uh, bars and coins and, that's, and, and such, and you're paying a premium for that physical, it's not like an online trade that you can do for a dollar or whatever the hell they charge nowadays for an online trade. Uh, you're paying a good premium for that stuff. To try to to, to try to be a day trader and uh, uh, precious metals, uh, physical, um, stupid in my opinion, and it doesn't really happen in the real world. Uh, it does kind of happen again with the paper derivatives, ETFs, uh, uh, Comex contracts, like where it's just purely paper, uh, and you can do these trades for next to nothing. However, if you're listening to my videos, chances are you're not a paper trader, you're not a day trader, you're a physical guy. Uh, and if you're new to my shows, uh, one of the things I want to uh, tell you, if your friend said, you know, buy silver, it's going to double this year, uh, what, what the frick does he know? I don't even know if it's going to double this year. It very well could. I'm not saying it can, but... but <laughs> You're, you don't, you're not here. You're not here on my videos to, to get rich quick. I'm here to show you how to preserve your wealth and uh, with the possibility of making a good buck because, you know, gold and silver does rock it up. And uh, we are probably way past that over, to, you know, way overdue past that time of rocketing up. Um, so let me move along from prices here. Not a lot to talk about. We're kind of sideways. Again, these lower prices are just a good opportunity to buy the dips. Don't get nervous, folks. Don't sell your positions right now. It would be the silliest thing you could do. Uh, this is a buyer's market, not a seller's market in physical. As far as paper, there's no good paper buyer's market in my, my opinion unless, well, there is. I think, it, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to digress here a little bit before I get into uh, what we're going to talk about next, is uh, I think that there is a possibility, as long as they don't go break, broke or belly up, that you can make some money with ETFs. Because when the stock market crashes, crashes takes a big crap. The, the, when we do another 2008 again, and we're, we're going to be there, it's going to get there, and, and everything across the board just takes a shit. Um, I suspect, from what I saw in the pattern in the last 2008 market, there will be no physical bullion available. Premiums will absolutely be crazy. Uh, and silver and gold likely, likely, will get a smash just as bad. The paper will, not the metal itself. You won't be able to buy the physical metal without paying huge premiums and uh, waiting weeks to get it. And that's what happened in 2008. Uh, the, the markets took everything down. The entire system came collapsing down. Even paper derivative gold markets and silver markets came crashing down. However, the difference between the paper and the real stuff is in 2008, when the paper gold price came down and the silver price, you just couldn't find real gold or silver. And we've experienced this last year without a crash. Think of what happens if a crash happens in the gold and silver paper markets. Um, uh, physical is just going to dry up completely. It won't even be available. Premiums will be absolutely fucking insane, uh, even more insane than they were in 2008, in my opinion. So, uh, and it's going to happen. Like I said, it's not a matter of when or if, I should say. It's a matter of when. Uh, and again, I don't have a crystal ball, but all signs point to that. Uh, you know, all you got to do is look at ZH here and look at these articles, and, and all signs point to man, how far off can we be from that collapse? Um, and, whoa, I was going to talk about how you'd make money on a paper trade. Well, in a collapse-like situation uh, in 2008, you could not buy any real gold. However, the ETFs were still, uh, they were still operating and they were still, I believe, selling at their ridiculously cheap level. So here's what you would do in that situation. If you couldn't buy physical, I wouldn't pay a stupid premium either. Just hang on to the silver and gold you got at the time. And if you got some little extra money to make a play, if ETFs, as long as they don't go out of business, if ETFs get hammered really hard, um, make that play. Make that play because you're going to pay a dollar for the trade or whatever the frick it is for an ETF and, and beat them at their own game. Buy that physical paper. I mean, buy that paper. Again, this is providing that these companies don't go belly up and bankrupt and eat silver SLV disappears or GLD disappears. What you're going to do is you're going to buy that paper at a much lower price and then wait for that paper price to catch up where physical actually is uh, with the premium price. Uh, I hope you get what I'm saying there. That's the one way I can see to make a great paper play when the economy crashes and when it all goes to shit one day. Uh, and again, it's not a matter if, it's a matter of when. We all know it. Even the people that 
uh, uh, don't want to admit it know it as well. Uh, let me take a look at uh, what's going on in ZH. And again, what we've been talking about is is we can't be too far off uh, from this situation. I mean, how long can central banks juggle this? How long can the government keep sticking it up the asses of the people and still and, and not be some kind of reaction? I mean, uh, you know, I, the, the thing is, is the boiling point with the United States, especially with the uh, um, well, I'm going to say it, uh, the so-called right, or whatever you want to call it, the non-left, is a very slow boiling point with these folks. And uh, I think we're seeing that slow boil, and then all of a sudden it's just going to, going to boil over the top. Uh, that's my opinion of it. Uh, but no less, at, and again, that's the sociological part of it, I believe. Uh, Business-wise and, and everything else, man, it's just crazy out there. Uh, again, what at what point? Is this going to uh, affect our markets in every way? And, and it will. Uh, end of an era, Bretton Woods system and gold standard exchange. Um, I, I kind of read that, but we're familiar with that. We've talked about Bretton Woods a hundred times. Uh, we don't need to go over that again. Uh, and again, if you're a new listener to this show and you're, and you're not familiar with what Bretton Woods is, real simple, type in B-R-E-T-T-O-N uh, space W-O-O-D-S, Bretton Woods. And uh, Wiki, Wiki will probably have something in there, but I'd recommend you read uh, Investopedia or one of the others. Wikipedia, when it has to do with economics and finances, uh, twists the truth depending on who's controlling Wiki that day. Uh, so Investopedia would be the best place to look at uh, uh, Bretton Woods agreement, in my opinion. And uh, again, look at the craziness out there, folks. It's just absolutely insane. Let me, I get the premium edition so I don't have to look at all those ads. Uh, let's go down here. Not too much to talk about. Um, you know, there's someone returned that $600 million uh, uh, in stolen, uh, uh, what was it, the stolen cryptocurrencies. Uh, mysterious white hat hacker has returned more than half of the $600 million stolen uh, on record DeFi, uh, DeFi hack. Uh, you know, one of the things that scares me about owning cryptos is this kind of stuff. You can wake up and it's just gone. Your, your, your ones and zeros, which really don't even exist, are gone. I mean, I don't know how that works, but... Uh, uh, how something that doesn't exist just disappears. <laughs> how can something that doesn't exist disappear? I guess that's uh, what what uh, fiat currency, at least with fiat, though, you get the paper. Uh, mysterious white. I have a suspicion that someone showed up at this mysterious white hat hacker's door, probably when he was sleeping, his bedroom door, woke him up and said, I suggest you return this. This is why I think. And again, I believe also my conspiracy theory is that the... Uh, um, that there's some kind of government corporation, let's just call it a corporation, whether it's a banking entity, whether it's a, uh, a covert agency entity. I believe some government uh, 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 corporation uh, uh, runs, uh, uh, what is it, Bitcoin, or invented Bitcoin. I, I think they know, and they do know where it goes, who gets it. And they're, they're very technically savvy enough to, again, send someone to this hacker's bedroom door at night and wake him up and say, listen, I think you should return those, sir, or we'll be back. <laughs> There's my conspiracy theory. You love that one, huh? <laughs> so, uh, hey, it's plausible. Uh, again, I, uh, boy, I don't mean to digress. We're going to talk about those markets, and we're going to talk about the idiot corporate news article on precious metals and the, uh, uh, the so-called expert they got to uh, talk about it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get a sip of coffee here real quick. Um, good to that. Man sentenced nine years for torching a business. Wonderful. Uh, initial jobless claims stagnate for 12th straight week. Over 12 million Americans remain on the dull, uh, dull. Uh, this is not good for the economy, folks. And, and uh, uh, overall, again, all this bad news. Uh, margins crushed as producer prices exploded. The PPI came in way higher, way hotter than they thought. Uh, futures hit fresh record high ahead of PPI uh, claims data. Uh, the CPI was about um, maybe a little bit higher. The PPI came even hotter than they expected. What did they say? 7.8 versus 7.5 is what they thought. Uh, again, I'm just pulling that off the top of my head. Um, it can, nothing good here. Uh, OPEC slashes oil demand out, uh, outlook amid headwinds. Uh, this means more inflation. Of course, you know, it's only transitionary, right, folks? Uh, whatever, transitory, whatever they want to call it. Um, again, nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that just made me laugh. Look at that picture. Uh, uh, nothing here really too much to talk about in precious metals. So let's kind of move along to uh, uh, GATA.org. Um, and if you're new to my videos, you have to have this on your bookmark bar. If you don't, you have no clue uh, who the players are and uh, how the game is played and how the game is rigged. Um, good article here. A couple good articles here. 
uh, I'm going to go over and you're not going to read them here, but uh, uh, Bloomberg spin inflation moderates as it keeps going. What you know? Again, if you listen to corporate media, Wall Street, Bloomberg, they're basically single narrative corporate news. Uh, they're not even news. I mean, I guess they're they're mouthpieces. They're corporate and government mouthpieces. That's what Bloomberg's is. That's what Wall Street Journal is. CNBC, Fox, NBC, all of them. They're just you know, depending on the flavor, they have a they have a blue flavor, they have a red flavor. Depending on what your favorite flavor is, they are all mouthpieces for governments and corporations. That's it. That really is. And Bloomberg's spin on inflation is the exact same spin spin that corp, uh, uh, a bank, you know, central bankers and the government want you to hear and want you to know that there's nothing wrong. You know, relax, folks. Everything's okay. And that is so typical with. Uh, 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 cor corporate news. Trust me, folks, you cannot trust corporate news. Period. You really can't. Uh, I'm not going to read this article because you know exactly what they're up to. And uh, 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 it's and again, we've talked about inflation, where this is going and, and for, for over a year now, so I don't see beating this dead horse again. We're all pretty familiar with it. But if you're not, again, 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 I replaced my uhs with again. So... <laughs> Uh, uh, if you're new to my videos, uh, you definitely need to have GATA.org, and uh, you need to be reading these articles before I even read them. Um, uh, trust me on this. I, I think that you, this is, it, it, again, if you're a stacker in gold and silver, um, you need to be reading GATA uh, every day or a couple times a week. You need to keep abreast of what's going on. Uh, and, and when you see these huge monkey hammered events like you did last uh, Sunday night, you're, you're calm, you're confident, you're not worried about it. You see it and it's an opportunity to buy, unlike the masses that listen to corporate news and their so-called experts who are going to trash and diss it and talk bullshit. Um, okay, <laughs> enough of that. Uh, Kurzakstan, uh, uh, we're going to talk about this. This is the article that I, I basically wanted to talk about, and I'd like to thank uh, uh, Mr. London for bringing this up, editor of Goot Gold Newsletter. And... Uh, I'm going to just kind of skip over to it directly. And let's see here. There we go. Yahoo. Yahoo. Well, there you, that explains it all right there. Yahoo. Uh, well, anyway, Yahoo News or whatever you call news or feed or where you want to do it. Thomas Hum Ryder. Uh, gold among the worst 2021 investments. Allcharts.com founder. Now, uh, I'm not going to bust on Thomas Hum. Thomas Hum may be just an innocent guy that thinks he's talking to an expert, and he writes what this expert tells him to write. But Thomas Hum, I can guarantee you that this gentleman, in my opinion, uh, where's his name? According to J.C. Parrots. Mr. Parrots hasn't a fucking clue what he's talking about, uh, Mr. Hum. If you were looking for an expert to talk about precious metals, you certainly went to the worst person you could. Credibility, zip, zero. Uh, and, and you know, I don't even know Mr. J.C. Parrott. All I had to do is read this article to know that Mr. Parrott has no fucking clue what he's talking about, in my opinion. And I'm no dummy. I've been doing this I've been doing this since the uh, 70s, basically. Uh, I started in this business in the 70s. So I can tell you with certainty, and, and again, my opinion, my certainty, in my opinion, I should say not certainty, but my opinion, my educated opinion, again, this man is clueless. And, and, and this is so typical, uh, and, and I can't blame, again, uh, Mr. Hum, but this is so typical. I've seen these kind of articles in the Wall Street Journal. You see them on Bloomberg, where they get these people like Mr. Parrots that are fucking clueless about, uh, and again, my opinion, clueless about precious metals to make comments. Now, let me read a few things that Mr. Parrots from allcharts.com says. Uh, and again, I can't play, blame altcharts.com, but whoever their spokesperson, a person that this person supposedly works for him, I can tell you allcharts.com. This, oh, hold on, he's the founder and chief strategist. <laughs> Well, never mind. Let's just talk about the whole company and Mr. Parrots. In my opinion, you're fucking clueless on gold and silver. And how many times I say the F word so you can tell how passionate I am about how clueless this guy is. Ready? Now watch this. Uh, and you can always tell a hit article, and you can always tell someone hasn't a clue what they're talking about at Precious Metals when they start out like this. Uh, nobody wants your rocks, right? I mean, that's the theme. The gold bugs have come up with every story under gold bugs. Again, folks, another thing I can assure you, when you hear the word gold bugs, two things you can be assured of. It's a hit article, number one. Number two, the uh, uh, the court, you know, the uh, uh, news station or the, the, the writer or the paper or the uh, whatever it is, 
uh, uh, is totally clueless. And and the people that they are going to quote are are when and again my opinion when it comes to precious metals are morons. Uh, and so this is exactly so look out for statements like this. Uh, right away you'll know that this person is clueless just by these comments. The gold bugs have come up with every story under the sun as why the gold should go up and it doesn't. I'd love to debate this guy, I really would. Uh, Parrots told Finance Live. In fact, over the last year, you'd be hard-pressed to find a worse investment over the last year than gold. Uh, <laughs> wow, wow. And, and again, uh, as it, I mean, I literally could, literally, you could have bought anything with it and it would have made money, but not gold, you know? So it's really just the worst of the bunch. <laughs> oh, man, I'm telling you, it's laughable, Mr. Hum. Uh, call me. You want to talk about precious metals? Call someone that knows what the fuck they're talking about because this Mr. J.C. Parrots, in my opinion, has no fucking clue what he's talking about. God, I threw off a half a dozen F-bombs on this one. So what? Who cares? Um, I just wanted to tell you... It, this is exactly the kind of shit I'm talking about, and I've talked about so many times right here. And if you listen to corporate news and you listen to their so-called experts, you are going to go broke in precious metals, folks. Uh, I, I think I'll just throw off some more F-bombs if I continue here. So let's move on to, wow, I'm going to kind of end it at that. I'm going to end it on all that uh, because it's a good lesson. It's And again, I've... I've I've talked about it so many times, I wanted to show you a great example of what I've been talking about. Uh, corporate news being completely dunces, and uh, their experts having no fucking clue what they're talking about. Great example to show you there, and uh, I, I hope you kind of got my point. Best deals out there, folks, in precious metals. Uh, as far as gold goes, I still think it's anything you can buy for under 100 bucks. Uh, 80 bucks and less is even better, in my opinion. And uh, uh, as far as silver goes, the best deals out there are anything under five bucks. However, if you can get stuff under four and under three, wonderful uh, dollars per premium. We've got some great products in my my store here. But as you know, if you're first, as you know, I don't deal uh, online or we don't ship anything out. We're a local brick and mortar. Uh, so if you don't live in my area, I can't deal with you. We advertise to be JM Bullion, SD Bullion, and Abmex Bullion, which are great online companies. Don't get me wrong. But being a local business, I've got to be competitive with these and so does your local coin dealers. Uh, another reason um, uh, is I recommend that you buy local and one of the things I talk about all the time is keeping your money local. Buy, uh, buy local, spend it here, keep it here. Um, you know, and again, if SD Bullion, Atmex, or JM are in your state or in your city, go spend it over there. Why not? They, their prices are pretty, pretty good. They're not bad. Uh, however, um, don't send your money out of state, folks, for a couple reasons. Again, keep that money local. The other thing, too, is at some point you're going to need to sell this precious metals, and what are you going to do? Ship it in the mail? I would not recommend that. Uh, go develop a good relationship with a local dealer. If it takes you a little time to find one or an hour or two drive, I suggest you do it. Well, that's really about it. This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Largo by the Sea. Um, everything I've talked about here in the last uh, in this video has been uh, just simply my opinion. Um, however, I do got some experience, and uh, my opinion sometimes means something. So uh, that's really about it. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thanks now. Bye.